Oh my god, that almost fell. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hayley and today I'm going through my bookshelves and I'm picking out, decluttering everything that I either have read and I don't like and don't want to keep on my bookshelf or anything that I have not read that I do not plan on getting to. Um, now I just counted how many I have and I have eight definites and like a little bit more of like I don't know maybe piles so I'm gonna go through them now I don't know where to start that I am going to get rid of is a 17 original story short story collection um, this one is a fantasy a bunch of short stories about you know wizards and shit and I like wizards and shit in my media consumption, but lately book wise, I just don't think that short stories are my thing and I don't think that this book is going to be my thing. This next book is another one with George R. R. Martin because he does have a story in here. This is a short story called Night Flyers by George R. R. Martin. I bought this because I was obsessed with Game of Thrones for a good chunk of my life and I thought maybe I should actually finally read some of his content. I wanted to read the books but honestly that just doesn't seem like my thing, at least physically reading it. So one day I might end up getting an audiobook of the first book but at this rate I just don't. Short stories and shit aren't my thing and this is literally a short story about so I'm not gonna do that one. That's going. This is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I've heard great things about this. We love a gay romance, like that's just my shit. I personally just don't, I look at this cover and it just makes me go, no thank you. I'm not in the mood for this. There's plenty of other stories at the moment that are queer that I feel like I would enjoy more. I don't really know anything about this other than like first love. I just, it's been sitting on my shelf for so long that I have no motivation to read it anymore. So it's gonna leave real. So that's going. Next one. The only thing worse than me is you by Lily Anderson. This one is apparently a Shakespeare retelling of sorts. Um, I'm not really sure which Shakespeare story it was. It's probably like The Taming of the Shrew or something like that. Like if I want to read that, I probably won't pick this one up. <laughs> this one, you know, I picked up pretty much not even because it was Shakespeare. It was because it was like a geeky read. It was pretty much like a comic book shop love story vibes. And I think that's cute as shit. But like this ain't, I just don't care. <laughs> kind of sucky, but I don't care. This next one is a mermaid book. Deep Blue by Jennifer Dooney? Dooney? Spelling, pronunciation, <laughs> bad, okay. <laughs> This one is a book about mermaids. I love mermaids. I've always loved mermaids, but I haven't actually read any books about mermaids, which is kind of surprising because I was obsessed with them as a kid. Anyway, so this is a book that I saw and I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna snatch this up. It was fucking $10. <sighs> Honestly, it's a middle grade. So it definitely isn't gonna be the type of content that I was looking for in a mermaid book. So for me, I wanted like a more of a creature horror kind of mermaid book, which or siren I should say, which like to me is really interesting, or even like a lovey-dovey romance that is kind of saucy and sexy. But this is middle grade, so I'm probably not going to get anything gritty or hard-hitting in that sense out of this. This one is Goodnight Stories for Rebel, Rebel Girls. I cannot decide if I'm, for the life of me if I actually am going to get rid of this or not. Because it is a like another like collection, but each page is like a different women woman in power who's done like successful things. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cute. It's a great coffee table read and it's great for like a bedtime story literally for little girls. I feel like this is something I could pass on and a, like a little girl could get inspired. Alright. <sighs> on to some other shit. 
<laughs> we have a short affair. Another short story collection because I thought I would try short story collections. I thought I might like short story collections. Guess what? I was very wrong, at least for this one. This, I started reading. There's a few ones that I was like, oh, edgy humor. Wow, I might like this. And then I just like didn't care. I have no intention of going and picking this one up. Like the next story up or whatever. I just didn't. It's not reading, like physically reading something that like I would be interested in. I don't read short stories on audiobook if I do read short stories. I think that's the best way to get over that like I can't be fucked from using my eyeballs but it's good to like listen to before I go to bed. You know? You know? You know? So maybe that might fix my problem. Another maybe pile is The Tempest by William Shakespeare. Honestly, I just want to buy one of those like huge ass collections that he has or like matching editions. So this was something I bought because I was supposed to study it for a class and then we ended up never studying it for that class. So I bought it and then just kind of had it. So yeah, I will probably read this at some point, but so yeah, maybe pile, but like also get the fuck out of my vase pile, who knows. Another maybe. Pegs being a wallflower. I read this, I liked it, I watched the movie, I liked it. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna reread it. I don't really care. I think, I thought I actually left it at mum's when I moved out, but I didn't, I brought it with me. So, that's probably gonna be given to my sister. <laughs> Next one. Ernest Clyde Armadar. This is, I've read Pretty Player One and I really liked it. I bought this first like four years ago <laughs> when it was popular and now I don't even think I'm ever gonna want to read it so it's kind of like in the maybe pile but like more towards the I want to keep it because I feel guilty but also I really should just get rid of it so it doesn't because I should not feel guilty for not reading my books if I don't want to read a book then I don't want to read a book simple as that you know I'll get to it eventually but I don't think I'm gonna get to this one, so I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably gonna let that one go. Now these next two books are controversial because they are beloved sister series of the booktube. Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I'm not the biggest fan of assassin shit, and I don't know why I bought this thinking that it'd be cool. I don't know, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way, some of the things I've heard, and I don't want my opinions to be based on what other people's opinions are on like how they believe, so I kind of want to read this just to like make fun of it and also make my own opinion on it, but like why should I be reading books to make fun of them? I should not be reading books to dislike them, I should be reading books because I personally want to enjoy them. So. I'm going to let this one go. That one's a hard one because that's also been shitting on my shitting. That's also been sitting on my shelf for a while. This next one is just really pretty. That's why I've had it for so long and that's why I bought it in the first place. I literally bought this with knowing that I had no intention of reading it. I just hate myself. <laughs> this one, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. <laughs> Her name is Maas, not Maas. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, Throne of Glass. I don't care. <laughs> my opinions on books and readings, I think my taste changed. It's kind of like, I have to like this now. Yeah, no, that's not how I'm gonna be running my shit show anymore. Damn, it's Throne of Glass. What can I say about this one? Um, Assassins again. I'll watch a movie about assassins. I'll watch a TV show about assassins. I find that shit interesting. But I do not give a fuck about reading about assassins, to be honest. It sounds cool, but I'm just not vibing with this at the moment, at least. Um, this one, like I said, I bought it with zero intention of reading it. So it's, I'm at that point where I'm like, why the fuck is it on my shelf if I don't care to read it? So, okay, I am put the white book on top and my freaking makeup chin is just going to get all over it. These are all the books that I'm getting rid of. Peace. Cool. Wait, how many are here actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 books here. This is good. This is good. Okay. <laughs>